Hey everyone, it's Lindsay from My Crafty Plants. Today I'm going to be planning the week of July 20th in my memory planner. This is an R Estelle A5 wide cloud planner and I do have a full setup for this link down in the description below, but it is still the same thing that I have been using and I am going to be using this Ocean Air uh, kit from Two Little Bees, I think this kit is called. Um, it's so cute, so beachy and gold foiled. I absolutely love this with like the navy, the soft blue and the pink. Um, so here are the full boxes plus you get a little bit of quarter stuff. Uh, it came with, it comes with like this little sheet that's got like f all different flags and a little bit of deco and uh, the functional sheet page and the bottom washi and date cover page and like look how gorgeous that is I absolutely love it um, it did also come with this header sheet which has got some like word headers and some pattern headers so I'm gonna use the bow headers but not the word headers uh, and I have some other simply gilded washi headers to pull in with this as well so I'm just gonna pop out these pages and jump in so I am just getting started with the date covers from the kit and these date dots from Sticky Sloth Designs and I am sorry this video went up a little bit late. Uh, I mentioned this on my Instagram channel but if you do not follow me over there or you're not on Instagram, um, I'm probably just going to have one video a week for like maybe the next three or four weeks, maybe even a little bit longer than that uh, just because we are going to the beach for the rest of the summer. Um, as of this weekend which is like we're in mid-August right now but camp is all done for the summer so we're heading down to spend the rest of the summer at the beach before we head back to school here after Labor Day and um, I'm not bringing any of my filming stuff so I have like plan with me is that all caught up till when we're leaving already pre-filmed and like a haul um, but that's it I didn't really film anything else in advance so all of those videos will go up while we're away as usual and I just have to finish like editing and voiceovering them which like I'm doing right now but I'm not I'm not going to stress about filming while we're like on vacation for the rest of the summer or semi-vacation I guess my husband is working but um at least for some of it um but anyway um so that is just a bit of housekeeping there but I will still have sort of like one plan with me per week um until I'm, you know, back up to a more regular schedule of two to three videos per week. And then, uh, which is like what I do now, I kind of do a video every third day or so. Um, and then, uh, you know, I'll have some, right, go back to normal in the fall once I get get ready but I would usually like catch up and on filming like the week before I left for vacation but I'm actually working on a project right now for like a work work thing and I haven't um done like any any work stuff like I haven't taken on any projects except for like my one little weekly thing since before the baby was born so um just you know been really busy with that and everything so I am not going to be able to film like a bunch of stuff in advance but that's okay I still have these plan with me's coming with coming at you and I will still be over on Instagram so definitely follow me there you know to keep up with me in kind of real time etc um so anyway this was the week of the 20th just a regular kind of summer week we had camp during the week I went to the beach during the weekend I am obsessed with this kit um it just looks so beautiful I really love it the spread turns out like so gorgeous in the end um so but that is basically everything that has been going on um in this week and I we watched some tv we I read some books you know same old same old um we watched Mindhunter this week we we finished the first season and I absolutely love that that was on Netflix and it's like about when the FBI started like defining serial killers and tracking it I don't know if you're like a true crime person you definitely will like it it's a fiction show it's not like a, a real show but it was it's really really good um I like the first season a lot better than the second season actually and there's only two seasons um and yeah so that was that was really good I highly recommend that if you're like into that kind of thing and then um I'm not sure what else I watched this week but I think we spent most of the week watching um Mindhunter I did read some books this week as well. I read A Little Life, which is like kind of an older book, but it was so, so good. And um, I just really loved it. And it's a really long book. And then I read A Court of Thorns and Roses, which is like one of those books where I was like, I can't believe I've never read this. Like, this is like the most me book. How is it possible that I haven't read it? But I didn't. So I did. Uh, I finally got it on like Kindle library. It had like a really long wait. But anyway, I read it and it was really good. Um, I put down like that green washi, but I ended up pulling that up and just replacing it with pink towards the end of this. I just think it looked better with the pink. There wasn't like 
I couldn't get like the blue right in this kit for and there was like a little bit of green items in this kit but it was definitely more of a blue uh, like a blue sea glass kind of a kit but anyway um, I am gonna pull that up I love the clipboards for like the journaling it's just so cute with the foiling and everything and I did go ahead and just stick a July little script over the sailboat um, I've been like kind of fitting them in when I when I can uh or when I remember to because I like I like how it used to the ECs used to have like the months printed on them but they like don't anymore because it's in the hexagon and I cannot with that hexagon I just cannot um but anyway so I've been sticking them on but they're so tiny like I feel like I forget about them all the time the the July stickers that I or the monthly stickers that I have but anyway on the day by day on Monday I did my regular work thing you know same old same old and then I baked cookies my son is such like a good little kitchen helper he loves 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 b baking stuff like he's only two like like two and a half but he's just he's so cute I mean he's not really that helpful but uh but he really just loves it so we bake a lot especially now that like my oldest is in camp so they don't like have to fight because usually they fight over like if I bake with both of them they like fight over like everything no it's my turn no it's my turn no it's my turn um you know the way kids do but so it's nice to get some like one-on-one -on -one time with him because he's a second baby so I like never really had that um anyway and then I just worked on some house stuff as well and then I was just kind of adjusting the spacing there uh trying to realize that I didn't have like that much stuff left for that day because like Mondays I mostly just work and uh and that's kind of it um so then we also dropped off some books at the library um that afternoon and I just wrote drop so I guess I didn't pick stuff up but I just dropped it off um and I'm using that little fox and pip girl uh so I used a lot of fox and pip stickers this week something like I don't know for me I always feel like two little bees kits and fox and pips fox and pip girls it's just like things that go together I don't really know why but they do um and then that night we were just watching Mindhunter on tv and that little tv with the boat is from Harriet Wright Designs uh and then on Tuesday we went for a walk me the baby and my son you know my daughter's in camp I don't mark camp every day because she just goes every day and it's like the same schedule so I don't mark it and that's what I'm gonna do for school next year too um and then my husband had to take a COVID test on this day not like we didn't think he was sick or anything like that but he was having a procedure on Friday which I already talked about and then I was just like trying to adjust that down and then I also did like all the kids school paperwork um because we just like owed them all the forms and everything so I worked on that this day too which like I don't know why it just like takes forever it's just like each kid and they're like asking you questions and I'm just like it's a toddler I don't know what their learning style is their learning style is toddler I don't know <laughs> okay um but anyway uh, this, no, I'm just kidding but like that yeah, there's I feel like paperwork the paperwork for preschool is intense um and then my I did some filming and then that evening my husband had a mentoring call which he would like usually do right during the workday but he had like a time zone translation mistake issue that he made or that he made with the person and so he ended up scheduling it for like like dinner time so he was doing that while I fed the kids which was I mean it's nice that he does them it's like for people who do the same graduate school program as him but like it was just funny um and then that night was like a really bad sleep night with the baby which we had like a lot of this week and maybe the week after I don't know we're like coming through it now there was there was a lot of sleep shenanigans going on but the last few nights have been really good so fingers crossed we're doing better here on that and then that morning I just like I don't know I had had a really bad night's sleep my husband didn't have to go into work super early or anything so I like got up I took like a leisurely shower I blew dry my hair I like plucked my eyebrows and just like chilled out in the morning um and then my husband left for work but I just like had a nice morning so I decided to mark that and then my husband oh then we had a call with our contractor like that we picked and we sent them our first check which like ooh, but also very exciting um so that was like that like holds our spot and gets started on like the permitting and the drawings and all that kind of stuff so and then that day I did like a YouTube binge um I was just watching like a ton of stuff uh, I think like a lot of Samantha plans I love her plan with me it's because she just talks about the books that she read and she has like very 
good taste in books and she's a librarian and then a lot of like uh james turner youtube and then i think i was just watching other plan with me's like viv loves to plan and plan motion plans and i don't know just like a bunch of people um i just was watching a bunch of youtube stuff and then that night we finished mindhunter season one and then thursday was a super rainy day so i marked that down always you know not super fun although again with just the baby and my two-year-old home it's like not as bad as when it was all three kids because i feel like a four-year-old needs like way more activities than than like a two-year-old does and like my son still takes like a two plus hour nap every day and everything anyway we made air fryer churros they were delicious um i highly recommend uh i were so i'm so into the air fryer right now just like very into it um and then i did some filming while the kids snapped that day and i did a bunch of reading um and we got sushi for dinner and this time it was not disappointing um and it was really really good and then i just watched some tv and i think I don't think we had started season two yet that night. I think we took a break in between and I was just probably watching Teen Wolf or something equally silly. Um, I like, I'm really into Teen Wolf, like not in a serious way because it's not a serious show, but I find, I find it like, it's a really good palate cleanser. Um, anyway, if that makes sense. And then again, I'm just like playing with the spacing here because I didn't have anything else. And like some of this stuff is like, I don't know. I always got to play with the spacing because I like things to look consistent, but I have some days that are always like super, super busy that I want to like mark a million things in. So I kind of try and like smush stuff in and then shove washi in when it's a less busy day rather than like make it look more open space because then I don't think it looks consistent throughout the week. Then on Friday I went for a walk with the kids and then my mother-in-law came over to babysit the kids and I took my husband to the doctor for his procedure which was you know if Viv is already laughing at me I can hear you um my his no more baby procedure we are all done having kids um and then I finished a book later that day which was this was when I finished uh, A Little Life, and then um, we we got barbecue takeout that night. I'm like so far ahead. Okay, anyway, I finished A Little Life, which is a book that's like an old, like a, not like older, older, but like maybe from like, I don't know, the early 10s, um, but it's really, it's just really phenomenal, uh, and then we got um, take out, like, barbecue food from this place, like, ribs and stuff, and honestly, this was the second time where it's, like, a restaurant we usually order from, and it just, like, wasn't that good, and it's been really good in the past, so I have no idea what was going on, and I was really annoyed with it. I'm just, like, really, really just not very annoyed with it and then on Saturday morning we just wake up and go uh, again and then it was like more work for me this week because usually my husband drives like literally whenever we're in the car together so I hardly ever drive and I hardly ever drive like with someone sitting in the passenger seat for real because he always drives but I drove to the beach because he was still recovering um it's not that far it's like a little bit more than an hour so but anyway I drove to the beach so dealing with him as a backseat driver the entire way down um and then we went to the beach uh and I uh grabbed one of those like clear stickers that I picked up from Clever Gal Crafts earlier this summer super super cute and then um we had some visitors at the beach, like socially distanced outside kind of visitors, not like we're still not really seeing people, especially with us being back in camp, you know, I just want to make sure we're like telling everybody what we're doing. Um, so anyway, we had some visitors by our beach tent, if you will. And then uh, we got uh, steak sandwiches for lunch from this place and I just did some reading and then on Sunday I was so tired everybody was up at like five o'clock in the morning it was just a mess um, but we went to the beach and uh, my friend stopped by uh, like one of my good best girlfriends from high school whose parents have a place at the beach too and she's like living there for the summer so we she stopped by and then that afternoon we drove home and we picked up like a little bit of groceries um, as well. And we, I finished reading A Court of Thorns and Roses that night or Roses and Thorns, whatever, whatever it's called, whatever that book is called, you know what I'm talking about. And then I'm just filling this out and I'm, you know, putting in my scripts as I go, I think. Yeah. And then just filling them out. I kept my handwriting pretty neat this week. So I always think that makes the spread looks better. Although like when you're like zooming out on the camera, you can't really tell, but in person, you know, when I keep my handwriting neat, it definitely looks better. Um, and then I just was going in with like a little bit of washi and some line dividers. Like I said, this was a really good week. Just kind of 
very much feeling the summer lifestyle right now. Um, and it's like, even though, you know, we're still being very cautious and everything with camp back on and with going to the beach on the weekends and stuff like that, it feels, feels like a regular summer to me. Like maybe not exactly regular, but it's just a good feeling. And I'm just emotionally feeling so much better than when we were just all locked in the house all of the time, even though like, like I said, we're still being very cautious, but yeah. But anyway, that is kind of everything for this week. Just finishing up here with the last couple pieces of washi replacing that sidebar piece and then adding in that big piece which where that blue just match matches like a hundred percent perfectly with the kit okay that is everything all finished up i just love how this looks let me give it a little a wiggle for you and i did all of my writing this week in a pigma micron 03 i just did finish the meals and little journaling spot off camera and as well i put uh these headers that say meals in this week from rose colored days on off camera um and let me show you what i have left from the kit so i have a bunch of the headers left which i don't really use text headers i didn't use the deco again although i probably should have used that coffee that's really cute um and i used like almost all of the functional stuff i have the little end piece of the side washi and like one full box left and some of these icons like cloud is so so cute i definitely should have used that but i didn't oh well um and then i did use all of the full box and that whole page but anyway so this is a really nice size kit i think that this worked like super super well and that is everything so if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up i'd love it if you'd subscribe and check me out on instagram at my crafty plans to keep up with everything going on in my planners bye